Hey everyone, it's GIMP. Uh, today I am going to be showing you guys another feature of Blender 2.6. Uh, the new feature is called Cycles and it's kind of a huge improvement on the lighting system of Blender. Um, the way it works is that instead of uh, using lamps, you use planes that act as uh, natural lighting like a sunlight or a window or something like that. Um, and instead of having one side completely light and the other side completely black unless you add like a, a subtle light on the other side, a subtle lamp on the other side, on the old way, this way you just need one em uh, emitter as your light source and it allows light to reflect off other objects and fill the whole scene with light. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select our lamp and delete it and select our default cube and delete it. And hold on a sec. Okay. And I'm going to go to camera mode and I'm going to add a new plane to act as our floor. And I'm going to add a monkey head so that we can uh, have something to look at, I guess. Rotate on the z-axis. Okay. And I'm going to add our light. Okay, and it's just going to be a plane, and we'll just pretend it's like a window or something. Okay, there's that. Up like that, scale it up, sure. Yeah, that looks good enough. Okay, and now to get it into Cycles mode, come up here to where it says Blender Render. Uh, click it, and go down to Cycles Render. And the first thing we're going to do is change our emitter. So come to the Material panel hit new and where it says diffuse we're gonna make it emission because it's gonna emit light get it <laughs> and for the strength hit three okay and that's done now let's select our floor add that new and I'm just gonna make it a darker gray and select our monkey head and add a new material see the cool thing about cycles uh, is that it also redoes the entire uh, interface for creating materials and this way there's a lot more options it's a little difficult to get used to but once you do it's it's a lot more powerful so I'm just gonna give you an idea by making like a uh, I guess a copper look I'm gonna change the surface to glossy and I'm gonna change this to like a I guess a copper color I don't know that works I'm going to change this up to like 2.5 and call it good. I'm going to add a modifier real quick just so that it looks a little better when we render it. So let's go ahead and hit F12. Actually, before we do that, um, if you come over here to the render panel, there's a new um, way that it renders, okay? It renders per the whole picture rather than individual black squares okay like it used to so when it renders the whole picture it goes it does in amount uh, in passes like and to determine how many passes it makes you change the samples over here so the render is set at 10 and it's gonna make it kinda grainy um, but if this was like your final render you'd make it probably like 500 to make it super super clear okay so hit F12 so you can render it and let it render. See how it started out kind of grainy and now it's getting more and more clear. It's going to stop at that which is still kind of grainy but it's only 10 samples so that's what we have. Now another cool feature is if we escape that um, is you can actually view what it's going to look like when you render it in your 3D viewport. So come down here next object mode click our uh, shading panel and go to rendered and now we have what it's going to look like okay so another new feature is that you can uh, while you're in cycles you can change it to be rendered with your GPU instead of your CPU and that is going to make it a lot faster if your graphics card is fully supported um, mine isn't 
but you know and it's a new feature to blender so eventually it will be but I don't know so let's go ahead and change it to be able to use your GPU rather than your CPU so come over here to file and under user preferences go to system and select where it says compute device select OpenCL and whatever it says here that's fine just let it work and close that window and now over here where it says uh, near render panel where it says supported click experimental and CPU we want our GPU so do that and let's see here let's make it the rendered viewport alright and now that's going to work and render with our GPU now the reason why I got rid of our materials and made everything white is because in when you're rendering with the uh, GPU on a GPU that's not really supported by Blender it's just going to use the clay materials right now um, Blender when they move along with this uh, technology it'll get better and you'll be able to use the materials actually so you know it, it'll get better but at the moment this is what you got so yeah that's what you have so go ahead and render that one more thing I forgot to add um, the reason why it looks white like this instead of having your materials is because the GPU rendering is so new to Blender that it only is going to render with uh, the clay materials so that's why it does that. 